For the first time, we're seeing video of a special needs student dragged through a school hallway. The director of school called this incident unprofessional conduct. The board then dismissed Walter Hill Elementary Principal Helen Campbell. But tonight, News Channel 5's Nick Barris has learned Campbell will be appealing that decision. What investigators say happened here at Walter Hill Elementary School nearly three years ago ultimately led just last week to the firing of the principal. Now you can see for yourself what happened. News Channel 5 obtained this school security video from November of 2019. A 10-year-old autistic child was in the front office. Uh, he's sitting on the couch and two school staff members um, are encouraging him at this point to go to class. There's no audio, but you see Principal Helen Campbell and special education teacher Bonnie Marler drag the student through the hallway to a classroom. As you can see, the child appears to be on his back, uh, head and shoulders on the ground. Uh, being drugged by his ankles and uh, doesn't appear to be resisting as he's being drugged down the hall. Sheriff's detectives say this clip shows Campbell going into the server room to erase the video after the fact. We allege that she deleted the, the video. But authorities recovered the video and Campbell and Marler were both suspended. Marler was let go. Campbell remained suspended, but just last week the school board voted 4-2 to two to fire her. The grounds for this recommendation fall under unprofessional conduct, conduct unbecoming to a member of the teaching profession, insubordination, neglect of duty. The optics of a child being dragged are certainly not good, but not everyone on the school board agreed with the firing. And it's disgusting that we're asked to be to vote on this when not one of us on this board has spoken with Ms. Campbell. Campbell plans to appeal the board's decision. Her attorney tells News Channel 5 she and Marler were put in a no-win situation and that given a chance to explain, people will better understand why they did what they did. Investigators, though, say there had to be better options than dragging a child through the hallways. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. The child was dragged several hundred feet through the school to a classroom and suffered minor injuries. His family has filed a civil lawsuit.